Welcome back to the We Are City channel for FC24, Manchester City career mode. These are the four games in today's episode, four pretty decent games. A home to Everton, two days later a home to Brighton, three days later at home to Dortmund, and then two days later at home to Liverpool. So four games, which are four pretty important games. The Carabao Cup progressing in that one, the Premier League with Liverpool and Brighton, and also the Champions League progressing in that, all within a few days of each other. So we're going to have to really rotate the side throughout today's episode in these four games in October. The fixture list really done us over there. I don't know why we can't play one of these games on a Monday or a Tuesday night over here or so just to try and give us a bit of a rest. Carabao Cup against Everton. They have rotated. It looks like Tosin and Araya will start with Borges, Pass and Javi Gal in the back four. Virginia will start in goal ahead of the Groya, the main goalkeeper. Prado will start. He's the danger man. Key attacking player Prado Beto as well. Dobbin, Captain Ducori, Yango and Garner in there. Option on the bench as well. Sergio Roberto scored an equaliser against us in the last one. Four draws and one win in their last five games. Tactical vision, we know they, they like to play. We've already played them once this season in the last episode, and we struggled with a 2 2 draw. With that Brighton game in two days' time, the Dortmund game three games after, and then that Liverpool game two days after as well, we've had to rotate heavily in today's game. And really have rotated heavily, and we might even throw this game, which I don't want to do, but it might be a possibility. Andrew starts in goal for his first cup game of the season with Jan Kuto, John Stones, Ruben Diaz the captain, and Rico Lewis the back four. Maximo Perot makes his first start, and Mateus Nunes in front. It's Savio on the right. Joel Dala makes his Manchester City debut. He's unhappy at the moment with his game time. Well, now's his chance to impress. And it's Nico O'Reilly playing off Julian Alvarez, the striker, in the front two. And he's then Haaland, Doku, Eze, De Bruyne, Barco, Goyi and Akanji on the bench. City with plenty of options to come on and make a difference, make an impact if we do need to throw off players on the field. Well, the Etihad Stadium here against Everton. John Stones against one of his form. His side here. We didn't play very well against uh, Everton in the last episode. We didn't play well at all in the last episode. Hopefully better today. In the middle of the goal, Ruben Diaz steps out. Gives it straight back to Everton. Does Diaz. Quado. Who is the, the man you've got to look out for. His pace is unbelievable. His ability to accelerate is fantastic. Dobbin. With Jan Kuto here. He's been dropped by Dobbin. Stones the foot him. Over the fullback. Stones can't stop it here. Stones the tackle here in the box. I thought he got the ball. Referee thinks not. Stones threw a foot out too many times. It's a penalty. And he cuts off Javi Gallant. The penalty Everton within the first eight minutes here. Beto beats uh, Andrew. Good goal. Andrew concedes and he's and his, his debut for Manchester City pretty much. Good finish from Beto. Goes the right way, but he can't keep it out. Here's Ndala, Jan Kuto. It's Nico O'Reilly who scored a big goal against Everton before. This one, he just lives over the bar. Well, a big one, a late one in the cup against Everton a few years. What was it last season? He's only goal last season. Quado. Where'd they go to do Corey? Pressing from Savio. Can't win it. Dob him. Chance for Everton from range here. What a strike that is. And it's 2 0 Everton in the Carabao Cup. And Manchester City look like they're going out here. James Garner with a wonder strike. Off the post and in. No chance for the goalkeeper. What a hit. 2 0 Everton. Well, we said we wanted to win all four competitions this season. The Carabao Cup looks like it's beyond us now already. Support's got to come from Rico Lewis. He does do eventually. Lewis. Good play, Rico. Good footwork, Lewis. Alvarez. And Dala! Oh, over the bar by Virginia. Good chance. Corner ball. Alvarez in. Ruben Diaz with a thumping header. City pull one back through the captain. Oh, it's John Stones, in fact. 2 1. I'm sure it has that. It's John Stones. Ball comes in. Stones across the near post. Thumping header from Stones. Down the middle. 2 1. City back in it. From a set piece again, we get a goal. Which is a tailor tape for the last episode. And Q2 across. Oh, Dobbins done him again here. Beto. Pass Stones. Beto. Chance here. Diaz blocks. Stones can't get it away. And, uh, and Anderson, Ever Andrew makes a save there, but oof, we're struggling defensively. He gets back to his feet and wins it off him. Dobbin. Savio wins it back. Lovely ball by Savio, by the way, in the creative build-up for Adala's chance. That is half-time. 2-1 down, only one goal eight. We've got a chance of getting back into this one. We've got to believe. Great play by Adala onto Nico O'Reilly. 
Mateusz Nunes turns. Nunes with a strike here. Virginia with a save behind for a corner. Come on, City. Good start to this second half. In. Stones down the box, referee. Savio out to Alvarez. Alvarez down the box. He should have gone down there. Here's Borges. Oh, ball in behind to Poado. Rico Lewis couldn't cut it out. Ruben Diaz chases. Here's Poado. Rico Lewis can't get a foot in on him. Poado! Pound away from Anders, eh, eh, Andrew. I can't get his name right at the moment. Ducore. Ruben Diaz got interception. Oh. Savio with another lovely ball out towards Ndala. Takes it well, the youngster Ndala. Alvarez. Mateusz Nunes. Back through to Alvarez here. Alvarez! 2-2! Two -two. Good play from City. And we are level through Julian Alvarez. Great play. Great play. Mateusz Nunes threads it through. And Alvarez puts it in the top corner. Great goal from Julian. Nico O'Reilly is off. The injured Nico O'Reilly for Erling Haaland. City have got the big boy up now up top, haven't they? The goal scorer, Haaland. The two big boys in that attacking area. If I was Everton, I'd be worried now. Ducore. Lewis. Haaland. And Dala. Back through to Rico Lewis. Good play by City. Rico Lewis. Into Haaland here. Well held up. Back wide to Joel and Dala. Alvarez. Haaland on the volley. 3-2 City. We turn it round in the Carabao Cup. 3-2 Manchester City. And it's Erling Haaland with a finish. Assist for Alvarez. Goal for Haaland. Off the bench to score. Good play. Alvarez flicks it. Haaland one touch. Bang. What a finish. We need to make changes now. I need players rested for that next game. I just don't know who to take off. I think Akanji and Goy are going to have to start the next one. I don't think I want to make any changes. We'll, we'll let these players run their run their course out there today. Because there'll be some more, maybe some more youngsters in there. 3-2 we lead. Rico Lewis away to Joel and Dala. Nice touches from Ndala. Ndala. Oh, he's tried to skip past the full that Patterson. He's unlucky. He's giving his all Ndala today. More impressive than Nico O'Reilly, who was the player who got the games for us last season. Jan Kuto can't win it. Ducore. Trouble for City here. Good block by Jan Kuto. It's a corner for Everton with seconds remaining in this one. James Garner's off. The goalkeeper's up. Virginia. Cross comes in. Headed by Dobbin. It's just past the post. Full time. We win our first game of today's episode. A 3 2 win over Everton. And Dahl made a very good debut. City are through the Carabao Cup, thankfully. With the A Sports game on a match to Julian Alvarez, an 8.4 rating. I'm actually going to give it to. Joel and Dahl, what rating did he get, actually? A 7, by the way, today. And Dahl looked very good on that far side. I'm going to give it to Diaz. I thought he was very solid. Andrew, two shots, two goals. Not the best debut for the. The goalkeeper, but Diaz, I'm going to give it to him. 7.5 rating. I thought he was very solid at the back for us. Well, bad news for Nico O'Reilly. A broken toe injury. Three months without the youngster. That's going to really hamper his development. Well, Scout Report brought to us here on a really exciting player in Claudio Chiveri. He plays for River Plate. He's got seven goals and seven assists in 13 appearances for River Plate this season so far in Argentina. You can see exceptional talent reminiscent of Lionel Messi. This midfielder dazzles with extraordinary ball control, quick feet and visionary passing. A game changer with an eight instinct showcasing immense potential for a stellar career. He's impressed in the under-17s World Cup like Jolene Dalla did. The guy is impressed time and time again. Uh, while playing at River Plate. He's a young man that is just about reaching uh, the, the, the end of his teenage years now and really found his form in Argentina, really found his form as a footballer all around and I think a player that we as a club have got to make a move for at some stage because he's the sort of talent you can't afford to miss out on. I think if we can get to him ahead of Real Madrid, ahead of Barcelona, Bayern Munich and, and some top, top teams from around Europe, I think we will be in with signing one of the best young players in the world. And I think the scout report there, it, it mesmerises what, what he says. A dazzling midfielder, uh, you know, in eight instincts, a stellar career. But what really, really stands out to me is not only that exceptional talent part, but the part where it says reminiscent of Lionel Messi. Anyone that is compared to Lionel Messi is welcome in my Manchester City side. And I think when we always sign a high potential South American in January, maybe Claudio Echeverri just might be the player we go for. What makes it 11th place? Brighton in the Premier League. Roberto Zerbi's side that sit in 11th place with two draws in their last two. Two wins and a loss before that. 
Jason Steele still the goalkeeper with Alvarez, Igor, Savic and Adraj the back four. Gross and Gilmore sit the midfield too and then Cisco in front. It's Mitoma on the left and Buenanotta on the right. Antoine Griezmann starts up top. Baleba, Undab, Adingra, Atiboa, Lamptey, Biljo and Taliska on the bench. Key defensive player is Igor, key attacking player of course, Cairo Mitoma. It's a Simon going against Bryce today. Edison will start and go with Akanji, Goye and Vardy on the back three. It is Zimmermendi in the midfield holding role with Eze, Phil Foden and Kevin De Bruyne in front. Oscar Bob on the right, Jeremy Docu on the left and Erling Carland through the middle. On the bench we've got Julian Alvarez, Jack Grealish, Matthias Nunes, Rico Lewis, Valentin Barco, John Stones and Ruben Diaz. Well, there is Josh Cavardi warming up Erling Carland as well, the Premier League top goal scorer as we welcome Roberto De Zerbi's Brighton to the Etihad Stadium. Trying to get Brighton to press us. Cavardi comes across to this one, nicely done. And White to Docu by Eze. Jeremy Doku. Doku. This wide area past Alvarez. Doku. Eze in. De Bruyne at the far post. Falls to Phil Foden in a 1 0 Manchester City. What a little ball in by Eze that was. It's pulled back to him by Doku. And Phil Foden gives Manchester City the lead here. He's getting some goals for himself, Phil, in a more central position. Ball in by Eze. Swoops the far post. De Bruyne headed away. Falls to Foden in the chest. Touch away on the left footed strike into the back of the net. 1 0 Manchester City. Foden scores his second of the Premier League season. He's had a bit of hit and miss seasons in the first two, I think, Phil Foden. Injuries have hampered him, especially in his first two seasons with us, unfortunately. Hold on by the fullback. Kanji with a tackle on CISO. Forcing Brighton back. Savage. Will be challenged by Zimamendi. And a second time by Martin Zimamendi. And he gets it in it, Zubamendi. And then through to Haaland by Zubamendi. And Haaland here makes it 2-0 City. Great play from Zubamendi. Well, the first season maybe he's not in his best season, Martin Zubamendi. But in the, you know, absence of Rodri, Zubamendi has stepped up massively. Great play twice there into Haaland. And he thunders it in the top corner past Steele on the back of the net. But lovely from Martin Zimamendi, lovely pressing, sliding in, aggressive, wants that ball more than anyone else, and he won it. Won it many a times. And Cisco passes Zimamendi there. He recovers well. Here is Griezmann. Hardly made an impact. What a ball to be Toma! And Brighton score. That's poor from City. Poor defensively there. Goya step out to Griezmann, and then Mitoma's got so much space. 2-1. Literally, as we score, they go to the other end and score. That's frustrating. There's Mendy in trouble. Mitoma. Good ball into the middle here. Griezmann. Griezmann in space and Cisco there as well. Antoine Griezmann! Brighton equalised. Well, City were 2 0 up. We were flying, plain sailing. And then two poor bits to defend him. And he's 2 2. And Cisco into Antoine Griezmann. And a good finish. And we can see too many goals. We can see way too many goals. Two all at the Etihad. City ship a two goal lead. Into Oscar Bob. Good feet from Bob. Brilliant from Bob. In. Haaland is there away by Brighton. Doku can't win the header. Goya will it against Griezmann. Nice half time. 2 2. Manchester City have thrown away this game so far. Blazing it away. Well, City should be getting a win here today. I'm frustrated that we have conceded those two goals. Doku. See you later, Alvarez. Doku, brilliant by Doku. Doku onto that right foot and he just gets it wide, Doku. All over the place, it's fallen to Brighton. Doku goes and wins it back. Bowden. Kevin De Bruyne. De Bruyne. Foden with a shot here, straight at Jason Steele. Couldn't quite get his body round that one. Oscar Bob in there. Brighton counter again. And then he slides him. Good play from Brighton. Counters very quickly on. Wing back here. Up against Goy. He's past Goy. Chance for Cisco. Big save from Eddie. Vardy on the thumping header away. Goy, good header away. Doku. Doku. Blistering pace from Jeremy Doku. Fold him. Into Kevin De Bruyne. Oh, we've absolutely messed that up royally. That touch by De Bruyne there is going to go wide to, Do to, to Bob. Wadi all chasing, can't win it. Brighton again here, four on three. Far post, got here away. Well done. Ball in. Shocking goalkeeping from Edison. 3-2 Brighton, Antoine Griezmann. 
with his second of the game. Our first defeat the season's on the way, I think. So bad defending. Stones, he comes, on, he comes on and does that, John Stones. Manchester City 2, Brighton 3. Could be about to lose at the Etihad. Trying to Jeremy Doku. Doku. Oh, he's so unlucky there. I tried to just skip past him. Corner. He brought to Haaland, usually works. Josh Vardy! Oh, what a header by Vardy! 3-3, three, three, come on. Pick that ball up, City want the winner. Three goals conceded, which I'm not happy with. But come on, City. Header by Vardy, 3-3. Three, three. Can we get that winning out? Both goals coming from corners. Vardy out of position here. Simon Adingra. Cross him. It's Docky with the header away, only as far as Brighton. Little back heel going in the box here. Mitoma! Big save from Edison. Stones away towards Eze. On towards Grealish. Alvarez. Haaland. Back to Grealish. Back into Haaland here. De Bruyne. They're in trouble here. Kevin De Bruyne. The end of the game. De Bruyne! Last kick of the game. Manchester City. Win through Kevin De Bruyne. Well, that certainly wasn't an easy one to win, but we've done it in the end. Those two goals we shipped to Brighton and the third as well. So poor defensively, but we love to score goals and we've done it. 4-3. Kevin De Bruyne played him. And he smashed it past Jason Steele. Made no mistake that was going in the back of the net. He's second of the season, last kick of the game. Manchester City 4, Brighton 3, right at the death. City come away with three points. The Zerbi side put up a good fight, but it wasn't enough to stop this absolutely fantastic City side. Offensively, there's no stopping us. And Guardiola gets the better of the Zerbi. City get the three points. Well, hey, Sports give the man a match to Vardio with an 8.1, interestingly. I'm not exactly sure who I'd give it to. Maybe Martin Zermendi play good in that midfield at times. He's, in, he's crucial for that other goal. I'm going to give Zermendi the man a match for myself, but... Final 8.1s with Mendy only a 7.3. Well, it looks like our Premier League destiny is starting to be found out pretty soon. The Premier League and Manchester City have had the full panel. They've had the discussions. They've had the, I don't know, the case completely resolved. It is now up to the Premier League to decide with what they have found in the 115 charge against Manchester City. If they find them guilty, guilty of how many and so on. And then what the decision is for Manchester City. Will City be sent to League 2? Will we... Um, be given a transfer ban? Will we be given a points deduction? What is going to happen to Manchester City Wells 115 charges? Well, the decision is close and it's expected that by going into next season, into season four of this career mode, if we were to do season four and this, this one is the last dance of Pep Guardiola perhaps as we call it, then we will know what the decision is for Manchester City, whether we're relegated, whether we docked points, whether we have our Premier League titles taken off us, not exactly sure what is the outcome, but it's something to keep an eye on because the decision is close and we will know the decision probably before the end of Season 3. So the next match is Borussia Dortmund in the Champions League, but I have got to keep one eye on that game, our final game of today's episode, which is against Liverpool in the Premier League, only two days after this one. And speaking of Liverpool, there's a former Liverpool man in there, in Alexis McAllister who starts in midfield, so it's Kobel in goal, Calabria, Pavard, De Vries and Ben Sibiani at the back four. Goal, uh, in goal, obviously cool, but the captain is Emre Chan, who's a key man with McAllister in the midfield too. Adi Amy on the left, Giovanni Reiner on the right, and Julian Brandt in behind Dusan Vlahovic up top. They've also signed Romelu Lukaku, who's on the bench, with Felix Nemetri, ex Manchester City player, Rearson, Royce, Fulkrug, Yellert, and also Mayer. They won their first game, and you see the 88 attack, 83 midfield, 82 defence. Dortmund, a very good key defensive player, Chan, key attacking player, Adi Amy. They like to press, win the ball back as quickly as possible. They're a good counter attacking unit. This is a tough game. Tough game for City today. So this is how we're going to go with against Borussia Dortmund. Edison starts and goal. It's Goyi, Akanji, Barco and Lewis in the back four. Zimmermendi in the holding role with Kevin De Bruyne in front. Mateus Nunes on the right. Jack Reyes on the left. And it's Eze and Alvarez, the strike partnership up top. They're looking to get Alvarez off at some point. Zimmermendi, De Bruyne, Barco, Lewis. Those are the four that we need to get off at some point to rest them. So we can have a strong side going to the game against Liverpool. Here we are at the Etihad Stadium, a massive one against Borussia Dortmund. They are the battlers in the group to finish top of the group, aren't they? Whoever, you know, comes out on top between these two sides will finish top of the group. First time we face them, though, City versus Dortmund. A long time ago, City faced Dortmund in the Champions League. And that year, Dortmund, I think, got to the Champions League final. This was City. Raise it through a corner for De Bruyne. 
Alvarez. Oh, good touch from Benjamin Pavard. Former Interman. Read that one. Former Bayern man as well. Here they come on the counter. Dustin Vlahovic chased by Goyhe. He beats Mark Goyhe. Vlahovic! What a strike. Top bins. We're 1-0 down to Dortmund. Well, Mark Goyhe there. Didn't cover himself in glory. I thought he'd won it and then he'd lost it. And Dustin Vlahovic off the crossbar and it's a thumping strike from the Serb. Oh, City tackled here. That's silly from us. Chance for Vlahovic again. Big save from Edison. Behind for a throw in, but what a City doing here. Not a good start in the Champions League at all. Matthias Nunes give it straight to Vlahovic in the box. Eddie Amy. That's Matthias Nunes. Vlahovic. Akanji, big challenge in the box here by Manu Akanji. Rico Lewis can't keep it in. We're not having a good game here today. I don't know why. Vlahovic is injured. That's good for us. But Lukaku. Come on here. Poor defending by City. Blocked away. Well, Dortmund are causing us all sorts of problems here. Shot wide the post. What is Eze playing at today? Every touch, every pass is to the opposition. I've not been impressed by him at all. Space to the middle again here. Goy, he's been done by Giovanni Reina. Off the post. Dortmund should be 2 0 up. What is this performance from City? Can't get hold of this game at all at the moment. De Bruyne. Every pass goes to the opposition. What is that pass by Zimmermendi? I've never asked him to do that. He's done it anyway. He wins it back. Alvarez. Eze. Eze for City. Can he do something, Eze, today? Something positive. Eze. Eze! Oh, I just passed the post. First shot the game. They stood off him. Grealish. Alvarez. De Bruyne. Grealish. Good play. Into Eze. Oh, it's beautiful from City, but he's off. So that's the first time we've actually put anything together. And it's offside. Matthias Nunes. Rico. Eze. City trying to make something happen here. I mean, it's Martin to amend that pass again straight to Dortmund. To amend it has been atrocious. I think I'm going to take him off the throne straight away at half time. His passing is unbelievably bad. Grealish. It's too wide there, Varko. Thrown on towards Goyo. City creating something now. Better in the second half. Kanji. Why to Matthias Nunes? Oh, brilliant from Matthias Nunes. Brilliant. Alvarez! Oh, blocked away. Down by Perón. Can't get there. A Kanji in there. Running behind here. Jan Kuto's lost it. Pulled off Jan Kuto. Brandt. Why'd they go? Chance for Dortmund again. And Edison on the bar. Well, Edison's made quite a few saves today. We've hardly had any chance. I don't think Koval's had to make a save. Eze. Eze just runs straight into the player. What are you doing, Eze? Foul. Adi Amy. Kanji foul in the box. He gets away with it. Adi Amy behind for a corner. How is it only 1-0 at the post twice? And how would be this bad? Save by Edison again. Corner for Dortmund. Is it goal kick with one added minute? I mean, we're going to lose 1-0. And it's been a terrible performance. Edison long to Haaland. Even Haaland's not gone for the header yet. Savio. And that is full time. A 1-0 defeat at home to Dortmund. That is possibly our first defeat of the season. Our worst performance. Maybe of all time. I've lost games 6-1 and played better than that. That's disgustingly bad. We played Fulham in the last episode and James McAtee was taken off at half-time on loan from us and we said maybe he's having a failed loan season similar to the one at Sheffield United. However, it doesn't look like he is. Nine games he's played for Fulham so far in the Premier League and yes, he played poorly against us but five goals and two assists in those nine games is a very good return. So his exceptional vision and ball control define his, this high potential midfield that James McAtee is. Recently flourished in the Premier League, he orchestrates play with intelligence and composure which is nice to see. Adept at both creating and scoring, he's a pivotal asset to Fulham and that is something... I love to hear. It sounds like he's finally having a really, really successful loan, James McAtee. Now at Fulham, similar to like the one he had at Celta Vigo. He had one at Celta Vigo in La Liga, but then we didn't have space for him in this team. But maybe we need to make space for him next season because he's a player Pep Guardiola has liked. Maybe Pep Guardiola might not be in charge, being that he's the end of his contract. But um, someone who should come in and uh, be given his chance to solve for Silver at Manchester City. He's had chance to develop. He's, he's had a few successful loans. There's a few unsuccessful but he wants to be a Manchester City player. That is his dream. He's been given so many loans. I mean, if he is 
uh, brought back next season. It is decided he's not going to be in the first team. Then he will be sold permanently. He, he won't be around anymore. That will be the end of James McAtee. But I want to give him his chance. And I want to see what he can do at Manchester City. Because I do believe he's a sort of creative midfielder that could make it at this club. That has the quality to make it this club. He just needs to be given that chance. And I do want to give him that chance. Because clearly, in the Premier League, this man is flourishing. The final game of today's episode is after that the disappointing defeat to Dortmund. An undefeated run we have got in the Premier League. 19 points, we sit top. 18 points, second place, Newcastle. Villa on 16, Burnley on 14. And so are the Saudi face today in fifth place, Liverpool, who just nearly beat us to the Premier League title last season. Pre-match report shows Liverpool will start with Kelleher over Alisson in goal, who's injured. It's Trey Alexander-Arnold, Van Dijk, the captain. Alistondo and Zinchenko, the back four. Agate, Gravenberg and Endo, the midfield three. Very defensive, really, with Agate and Endo in there. Luis Diaz, Cody Gakpo and Mo Salah, the front three. Ayodo, Matip, Carvalho, Grifo, Nico Gonzalez, Raspadori and Sobislay on the bench. Three wins and two draws in their last five games. Gakpo, Alexander-Arnold and Agate, uh, the key to attacking players and defensive player for Jurgen Klopp's team. This is how we're going to line up against Liverpool today. Edison will start in goal with Stones, Diaz and Vardy at the back three. Zumendi and Rico Lewis will sit partnering each other in the midfield two with Doku on the left and Phil Foden on the right. It is De Bruyne and Alvarez supporting Erling Haaland up top on the bench. Joel and Dala. Savio, Bob, Eze, Pirone, Barco and Akanji. Let's hope we can get three points here against Liverpool early on in the season. There is the Etihad Stadium for a massive game today. Every game we played against Liverpool last season we lost, but we still beat them to the Premier League title. This is a massive one as the fans arrive at the Etihad. Two sides going head to head, been competing for so many years, Pep Guardiola and, and Jurgen Klopp. Competing to be Premier League champions, to compete to dominate England. And the two sides continue to do that. Doku against Alexander Arnold here. Nice play by Jeremy Doku, cuts back inside Doku. Oh, I see that run of stones there. Could be a foul in Zwemendi. Out of phone, City have dominated so far. Fold him. Oh, and a good interception by Luis Diaz getting back. And now they come the other way. Endo. Luis Diaz, pure counter-attacking football from Liverpool. Pass Vardiol. Pass Phil Foden. Good attacking by Liverpool. Vardiol across. And again, it's a goal kick for Manchester City, is it, referee? Oh, it's a corner. Chance for Liverpool. Pulled it back here. Salah. Diaz and Vardiol both across. Diaz makes a foot. Aiden City went it back. And here he's playing Alvarez. He's, a, he's away from one already, Alvarez here. Into De Bruyne. Lovely switch by De Bruyne to Phil Foden here. Trouble for Liverpool. Foden. him. Foden. Him. Clips it in. Hound on the volley. 1-0 City at the Etihad. And we take the lead against Liverpool. Beats Kelleher. And Erling Carla gets a goal for City. Assist for Phil Foden. Good play of the counter by Manchester City. And we catch Liverpool out. Lovely lift in. On the chest. And then Kelleher. He dies. He tries to make himself big. The Irishman, it's not enough. Tenth goal of the season for Erling Carlin. Manchester City won. Liverpool nil. His record is 37 in the Premier League. There we go. docky has gone narrow. I'll play to Amendi onto Ruben Diaz. Diaz, it's a big switch of play. Docky down to Alvarez, well played. Alvarez against Van Dijk. He's beat Van Dijk brilliantly. Alvarez here. Alvarez crossing again. Howard's there again in the volley. What a block by Liverpool and away. Should have been 2-0 City. City keep it in. Just. Diaz. Oh, big mistake by City there. Big mistake by City there. Out wide they go. Luis Diaz. Lovely skill. Chance for Lowe Seller. What a save by Edison. Handball or something in there. I don't know what it is, but I think it's our way anyway. Andy. Back to Alvarez. Doku. Doku in. Blocked away and behind for a corner off Trent Alexander-Arnold. Well, Manchester City, the better side here at the Etihad, without a doubt. De Bruyne are in. Hold ahead of Van Dijk. It's 2-0 City. Crossing by Kevin De Bruyne. Header by Erling Carlin. 2-0 City. Dominated. Dominated Liverpool. De Bruyne's got plenty of assists this season. And again from a set piece. Whips the ball in. Haaland's on the end of it ahead of Van Dijk. Thumping header past Kelleher. 2-0 City. I think Pep Guardiola's Premier League title race might just be a stroll to victory. Alvarez on to Rico Lewis. Here's the young midfielder, Rico Lewis. Lewis from midfield. 
Lewis! Oh! Saved by Kelleher. Not enough power. Not enough power. Dock is there. Dock him in. Vardial! Just over him. City somehow don't make it 3-0. Counter for Liverpool. Endo. Foot in, not enough. Luis Diaz. Sliding his Ruben Diaz. Mo Salah works it on. Trent Alexander Arnold blocked by Stones. Trent still. Chance again for Liverpool. Zuma Mendy. Salah. Cody Gakpo. Cody Gakpo! Crushes Manchester City at the end of the first half. They don't deserve a goal, but they've got one. Poor defending by City. We've got to get this away. We don't do. Ruben Diaz can't stop him. And Liverpool pull one back for 2-1. And that is half-time. Our two-goal leads are narrowed to one at half-time. But what a game this has been at the Etihad. And what a performance from Manchester City. We should have been 3-4-1 or or up. Going one back and, and being level. Chance for Liverpool here out wide. Cross in. It's almost Salah. What a header 2-2. Liverpool start the second half swiftly. And Manchester City are level. Cross comes in. Fantastic header by Salah. Zuma Mendy's lost him. Beats Edison in his bottom corner. And from 2-0 up. Absolutely flying. City again. Our defence lets us down. 2-2. Once again we can see goals. Doku. Oh, Jeremy Doku. Has just sent Trent Alexander Arnold right back to his house in Liverpool. Doku. De Bruyne. <laughs> Saved by Killer. Why don't we score there? De Bruyne in. Alvarez in there for the header. Away by Liverpool. Vardy Holt. Back out to De Bruyne. Oh, intercepted by Luis Diaz. Edison. Rico. Oh, brilliant from City. Doku on the turn here. Trouble for Liverpool. Doku into De Bruyne here. Doku on side referee. Jeremy Doku on side referee. Doku still on side here. Doku. Doku saved by Kelleher. Narrow the angle. Couldn't finish it off. And Salah switches the play now. Liverpool got so much space here with Luis Diaz. And John Stones chases. Luis Diaz. John Stones stops the initial cross. And a second time. Pull back to Mo Salah. Blocked away by Ruben Diaz behind for a corner. This is top, top action. Doku. Zuma Mendy. Playing Alvarez. Good play. Rico Lewis. Up and over. Alvarez going to touch. Alvarez. Good touch and a shot. Oh, it's just past the post. Corner again. De Bruyne are in. It's Haaland there. And over the bar by Kelleher. Lovely hold up play by Erling Haaland here. Into Rico Lewis. And through to Julian Alvarez. He's onside. Alvarez. Alvarez. 3-2 Manchester City. And it's Julian Alvarez with a goal. 3-2, come on. What a goal from Alvarez. Played in by Rico Lewis. Maximo Perón, come on for Rico Lewis, he's a bit tired. What a finish, come on. 3-2, Maximo Perón on. Come and see out the game, it was 3-2. Two, two goals conceded again, by the way. But 3-2 we lead. And he's still a long way to go, another 10 minutes at least to go in this game. Here's Luis Diaz. Get up, Diaz, you little diver. No way. No way, referee. Cross in. Ruben Diaz away to Kevin De Bruyne. De Bruyne lets it run. In towards Zimmermendi. Martin Zimmermendi for City. Ball in behind towards Oscar Bob here. Bob for City. Brilliant skill from Oscar Bob here. Runs Agate. Bob. Pass to Agate. Bob. Another challenge here. Tackled in the end by Zinchenko. Killer under pressure. City can't press him. That was stunned. This will be a big win against Liverpool at the start of the season. Big win against Liverpool. Trent Alexander Arnold beaten. Beating us there. Down the line towards Mo Salah. Vardy all wins it. Diaz back to Edison. Long by the Brazilian. Referee blows the full time whistle. Manchester City end the episode with a big 3 2 win over Liverpool. Did well there. Defended poor at times, but Jurgen Klopp, we have found the better of him. City stay top. Let's see who's the performance of the episode before we end it. But what a performance from Manchester City. But let's give it a match to Erling Haaland with an 8.6 rating. But I'm going to give it to Julian Alvarez with an 8.3. He was everywhere. He did everything. And he was fantastic. Thanks for watching. Please do like the video if you haven't already. Please do subscribe to the channel if you are new. Instead of joining the We Are City Members Club to see these videos extended and early. It's a great deal. We'll see you guys next time.